I've been wanting to do this video for forever, but the subject hasn't been ready all year, but it's ready now. So here is my dorm room tour for sophomore year. And by subject not being ready, I mean our room has been very lived in for the past semester and a half. We just did like a spring cleaning day yesterday, which is why I can finally give you a tour of our room. I am right now standing in front of the front door. So that's the front door. And this is what you'll see when you first walk in. Yes. There. I'll give you a perspective tour, which means I'll show you what I'm seeing. That makes sense. This is the front door. So when you walk in, the first door to the left is the closet. And we have this bunny poster on the closet door. And let's go into the closet. Now there is no light in the closet, which is a problem. Yeah, there's no light in here. The closet's a little messy. Our room is neat because we stuffed most of the things in the closet, but I'll show you anyways. Don't judge. There's a lot of stuff. So we have a coat hanger on the back of the closet door. Inside the closet, there's like a shelf up there with like stuff. And these are mostly my clothes and one of my roommate's clothes and like more of my clothes. And I put them in like zip up <coughs> container things because it's in the same room as the shoes and my scooter as well as like the laundry and stuff. So I didn't want them to smell like shoes which is why I put them in these little zippered things. I don't know what they're called. But yep. That is the closet. So let's close the closet door. The thing with this is the closet door cannot be open at the same time the front door is open because it'll pose a problem. A problem which results in that. We didn't do that, it was there before. First door on your right is the bathroom door where we have a sign that says beautiful. And there's me, hello. The bathroom is not totally, totally clean. It's a little clean. A whole new world. Just kidding. I'm not singing for you. So this is the bathroom. Um, your typical bathroom, you've got a toilet, sink, medicine cabinet, shower. This is a bigger shower than last year. So yeah, shower. We added this plastic shower shelf thing to the corner for like all of our shampoo and stuff. And yep, this is the medicine cabinet, sink. Uh, we also have like a towel rack on the back of the door and yeah, the light. Again, this is our full length mirror so we can tell that our outfits are always on point. Back to the foyer. So the, actually, I didn't show this to you but there are two lights. So like the foyer light, turn that off. And then there's like the room light. We can turn them on if you even care, but whatever. So walk further into the foyer and this is like our common area, I guess. We have this chair and TV table and like another zippered closet thing because the closet over there isn't big enough for everyone's clothes. I don't know how you can expect three people to fit all their clothes in the closet, in that closet. But yeah, so this is like, I guess our living room area. And this is like the pantry kitchen area. So we have a TV which came with the room, microwave which came with the room, and the refrigerator which came with the room. And we just brought in our own shelves and bins for all our extra food and everything. We have some posters here. Wicked! And so when you go from the foyer, you turn right to go to the kitchen area. Not really kitchen area, the food, the hangout, common space, whatever. If you turn left, that is my living quarters. So this is my area. Um, we just have like plastic shelves there, a ladder to the upstairs, which is my bed. My bed is made today. My bed is made. I made my bed especially for this video. And 
Yep. This is an overview of my entire area. And here is my desk. And that's my desk. It's usually not this clean. It's usually not this clean. But I'm going to try to keep it clean like this for the rest of the semester. So, yep. Desk. Chair. This is my snapback collection. I guess. Yep. Like more bins and everything. Um, dresser. Nice soft carpet. No shoes allowed on the carpet. No shoes. And I just hang all my bags right here. I'll just give you a quick overview of my roommate's areas. But yeah, so this is one side. And this is the other side. And this is our giant window. We usually keep the shades closed. I don't know. Because if you look outside, there's like a bunch of windows and it's kind of creepy. But yeah, so if you look outside the window, there are a bunch of windows. So we usually keep our um, blinds down so nobody can see. Into our room, and there's our air slash heat printer and like more nice signs. Angels exist, but sometimes they don't have wings and they are called friends. That's so sweet. But yeah, and yep, this is our blender, and if you've seen one of my previous videos of like my first college cooking video, I use this blender to teach you how to make blueberry smoothie. That's it for the room tour, it's just one giant open room, which is a lot different compared to last year's, but I kind of like this setup better, it's more of a sense of a community and it's less claustrophobic because it's just open spaces, which is important. I learned that in House Hunters. Also, the ceilings are higher to accommodate the lofted beds. So yeah. So this is a view of the room from the other side. And that's it for the video. Thank you for watching, and I hope you like this room tour. See you next time.